Rad proteins are a family of recognition proteins that help with the endomembrane system and secretion in the cell. The fusion and fission of vesicles rely on these proteins. Rad GTPases have emerged as central regulators of vesicle budding, motility, and fusion. Rad proteins are found in both animals and plants. Plants have a large number of Rab isoforms. For example, there are 57 Rab GTPA isoforms in the Arabidopsis genome. Rab proteins are localized to the cytosolic face of distinct intracellular membranes. They act as switches in the endomembrane system and can inhibit or activate vesicles movement and fusion throughout the cell. Like other regulatory GTPases, the Rab proteins switch between two distinct conformations, one GTT bound and the other GDP bound. The GTP bound conformation is generally regarded as active, as this is the form that interacts with downstream effector proteins. The Rab family contains a specific binding site which allows them to bind to different substrates. This is extremely important in the endomembrane system and during secretion in the cell. GTP binding proteins act as switches and signaling pathways which regulate functions in other proteins. The proteins bind to a vesicle and target the vesicle to its needed position in the cell. Rab proteins, in particular, target vesicles from either the ER to the Golgi or from the Golgi to the outside of the cell. It is thought that Rab proteins control vesicle transport via myosin. Once associated with the myosin, the motors move the vesicle on the actin filaments that deliver the vesicles throughout the cell. Let's take a look at the RABs in action. As you can see, vesicles form from different membranes. Once the vesicle is fully formed, a RAB protein can bind to the receptor of the newly formed vesicle. As you can see, it is a perfect match between the receptor and RAB protein. Therefore, the RAB protein can bind to the vesicle. Once bound, the Rab protein can direct the vesicle to a new location in the cell. The Rab protein is then met by an acceptor protein that is on a different membrane. If it is the right acceptor, the Rab protein will bind, allowing the vesicle to fuse with the new membrane. The Rab protein releases the vesicle as it fuses and is then inactive as a Rab GDP ace. Then the process starts all over. But what if something goes wrong? What if the Rab protein is still in GDP form? The GDP form, also known as guanosine diphosphate, is the inactive state of the Rab proteins. If it is in this state, it will not bind to a vesicle. Rab proteins are only active in the GTP form, also known as guanosine triphosphate. Therefore, GDP cannot bind to the vesicle. What happens if the receptor or acceptor isn't the same shape as the Rab protein? Here, we have a Rab with a different binding site. As you can see, this binding site will not fit with the receptor. This means the protein will not bind and will continue looking for vesicles that it can bind to. If the Rab protein binds to a vesicle and has targeted a new location but does not fit in an acceptor, it also must find a new acceptor. As you can see, Rab GTP binding proteins are essential in the cell. Without these proteins, the endomembrane system would not function properly and secretion from the cell would be a challenging task. 